Segways are really, really weird. Uh, Liverpool Dude. have been Dude. absolute and Dude. utterly highway robbery. Straight up abject corruption is what this feels like. Uh, Liverpool obviously feel like that. They're suing the, the, the PGMOL citing the uh the integrity of the game Absolutely. was not upheld um there's so much to unpack in this one um firstly yeah i mean the very first incident was the biggest one how okay so here's what i've here's what i've heard here's what i've surmised from what i've uh seen on instagram twitter bbc various, news yeah. various outlets is that the guy in Stockley Park, um, there in England, thought that the on-field decision was a goal. Okay. And so the offside, the onside is so clear. Which is why he said what he said. That he doesn't draw the lines. It's so clearly onside. Yes. That they didn't even draw the lines. And he's thought in his head, they've given a goal on the field. Check complete. Right. Right. <laughs> and so here's my thing. Here's my thing. The referee on the field, here's check complete. Okay. Take the throw in or whatever it was. Why? Yeah. yeah the three kick. Why have the four dudes or the three dudes in in the booth in Stockley Park, not been like, not been like, whoa, 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 whoa. stop, 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 hold up, stop, stop, stop. Okay, yes, the rule clearly says once it's, you know, the only thing you can pull it back for is like if you've given the card to the wrong person or whatever. You can't pull it back once the game starts. But let's use some common sense here. You can stop the ball or you can stop the game after 12 seconds. But they, they also could see he was giving him a free kick. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The game hasn't started back yet. Yeah. They should have said something. Right. The fact that they didn't say something is why I think they all should be fired. All of them. Because, like, uh, but here's the thing, man, that I don't get. So, because again, yes, he was so clearly onside. I mean, he could he could have laid flat on the ground and still and still been onside. onside. (laughs) It wouldn't have mattered. But the thing that kills me, and that you, I mean, I can't think of a time where I have like supported pool in any way <laughs> in any <Right>. way <laughs> and so for yeah. this, it's crazy because so after that happened because they're also the um they didn't put the flag up for offsides either because he let them play through they let them right play. So, until the goal yeah right so you got like so you got two things that never indicate offsides well that's just the difference of the game like that's so where, where the game that's where the game should not be have should not have changed and that's how where always this get offsides from though Right. I, well, that's that's what Look, I'm saying. Well, that's, that's not the conversation. You can't go back. Yeah, I, I get it. You he don't. You don't, Lavar. But we can't go sides. back. Right. If he thinks it's offsides, throw the flag. This whole play him through is this is the issue here. But that's what you're supposed to. It's get not. Through. It's not though. It's not. Well, that's right. not the issue. The okay. issue. The issue is this whole Mike Dean crap about. Oh, it's my mate down there, and I don't want him to look bad, and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to mess we with, you, you know, we want to stick together. We're this, you know, tight knit group. Look, man, the whole point of VAR is to get it is to get it right. This isn't this isn't a subjective thing. You can't claim human error. This is not a subjective thing. He's either on or he's off. Right. A or B, right. and to to the fact that you've gotten. That you've mixed it up in such a simple way, yeah. But is un- it's unforgivable anywhere else. Anywhere else in like the corporate world, in like if you had if you had a job working at the lawyer's office, or if you were you're, if, I, I yeah, you're in real, you, you're in real estate, right, X? If you someone's losing their house, yeah, exactly, right. And you're fired. And you're, never, wor- and you're never working for that company again. I'm going to lose my license, right? You're never, yeah, you're never even doing real estate again for anyone. Right. I meant the check wasn't cleared. What do you right. mean? What do you it's mean? one or the other. It's not both. You have the money or not. Right. It's not. Just yeah. tell them. 
just tell the look, man, you've got it wrong. It's a goal. Yep. But literally but eight seconds. Literally eight watch. seconds have gone by. His watch should have been buzzing. It should be like, look, yo, yo, it's a goal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. And 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 you know what? If they'd have done that, yes, it would have been a little bit of like, oh, they've already played on. Oh, you can't do that. But it would be right. far better than what's going on right now. Right. And it would have been, been right. right. It'd it would right. be far better than you what's happening complain. right now. You could complain and say, you know, they shouldn't have did that, blah, blah, blah. But it was correct. Like, you can't go back and say, hey, you know, well, you did the right thing and you're wrong for that. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's – that. it's impossible. So, like, I saw on ESPN, um, F, uh, FC or whatever, where it was like, look, man, even with the, the rules of whatever, you still got to stop them. Who cares, man? You still got to stop – like, literally, you took a goal for – and it's it's soccer. How many goals get scored in a game? In a game like that, use your common sense, man. The the on, when man. a goal like this, oh, it changes the game. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you don't think it changes an entire game. Look, if you if you were watching that game, Liverpool were far better at that point in the game. They were on top, and they score that goal and go up. They don't look back. And and you can say, oh, you don't know that. You don't you don't know that. Blah blah yes, blah blah blah. Yes, we do. We yes, we do. We, yes, do. Yeah, come on. Okay, <laughs> you want to know my you want to know my point? Right. You want to know why my point is right? Because they were the better team even with ten guys. Hell, they were the better team with nine guys. Well, the yep. red just yeah, dude. They were a better team with nine guys. So if you're if you think that they would not have seen that result out, you're crazy. In addition to that, the game winning goal. Just there's no way I, I, I you I, I, I can't I'm, I'm struggling to think of a day where I've rooted for Liverpool, but I'm telling you right now, Liverpool should have won the game. Liverpool deserved to win, not just the draw. They deserve to win that, game. Won that game. Now, and, and but see, and this is too like we've we've talked about we've talked about talking about nine and ten guys. We've talked about this before. How unlucky is it that my man beats my man to the ball? But goes over the top of the ball and hits the other player. Yeah. That's now, see, this that, one is different. That's wholly different. It's not an offside. It's kind of subjective, right? It's kind yeah. of a subjective one. And and personally, I don't think it's a red. He beat him to the ball. But he endangers the opponent. It's a violent <laughs> tackle that endangers his opponent. Dude's leg could have broke. Oh yeah, I'm no, no, but that's honestly there's some risks you take playing this game. But going over the top of the ball is so. That's but what's so crazy? Unlucky. Like I agree, I agree. It's very unlucky, uh, and I thought it was a little bit harsh uh, when I first saw it. But also, I can say that okay, yeah, he almost broke guy's leg. Cody Gakpo's leg is broken. Broken. He's out for a month and a half at least. No way. And. Udogi didn't even get a yellow. I mean, the I mean, it's just all it's just all absolutely all over the place. Now the other red card is a farce. The second red is an absolute farce because Udogi has conned the referee for the first, uh, the first one, the first yellow. It's an absolute cheat. It's an absolute con. He's tripped over himself and fallen down, and they've given man a yellow. Now, 28 seconds later, yeah, it's an orange card. <laughs> That's a surefire yellow sure for fire. the for sure the second fire. one. But point, once yeah. again, once again, can the referees not just use a little bit of common sense? Look, man, I've just had to give you a yellow on some BS not 12 seconds ago. And now you're doing this. Can you know, can could he not just be like, look, calm down, man? This whole minute and a half segment of yours deserves a yellow at least. Yep. I don't think you deserve a red. I don't need to destroy this game more than I already have. So let's have let's have a little and you can't tell me that they're not making decisions like this cuz Mike Dean come out and said this is how they're making decisions anyway. Yeah. So if you're going to be making decisions to save your mate, you know, why don't you why don't you have that same kind of common sense thinking? For you know the game itself, 
Well, it just they, it just makes no sense to be. It's a total money. double standard. It's a yeah. huge double standard. That's, yep, that's where I was going. Yep. You know, but I just feel that. What else does Liverpool have to do? Like, you know, like never before. You know, I've come on here and I've been like, oh, there's an agenda against Arsenal and we were cheated today. But in my heart of hearts, in my heart of hearts, I knew that, okay, we didn't do enough. Liverpool they were, cheap. were cheated they were straight cheap. up. And, and I mean, good grief. It, it, it doesn't get clearer than that. And <sighs> you know, the thing is, is people complain about Klopp complaining, but hey, man. I'm standing behind him on this one. He's got every right to. And, and what I think the what I think the conclusion is uh, is that now I heard that the it was the clubs and not the referees that didn't want the World Cup offside decision semi automatic technology. Mm-hmm. I've heard, I've, and I don't know how true that is, but I've heard that the clubs themselves, uh, like nine of them. Or like like eleven of them, just enough didn't want it, so that it wouldn't, and so that's that's why we don't have that decision system in place this season. But go back and watch the World Cup; it was it worked perfectly, almost. Yes. yes. So what? And so I think that that this might be the push. This might be the push for that. We well, might, that's the end. yeah, that's done. Man. See that? No, I'm saying we might see that next season. Is the no? That's what I mean because like th- this whole I don't want to d- d- do my man. Because then there was a, a thing where they now almost, which just seems silly that it says now the the they, it, it makes sense for the officials to have to have a guideline where if you say uh, um, check is complete and then you have to say what else because otherwise. Yeah. The, the, the official just making up stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, that's, that, that was why I asked the question. I'm like, so there was no offsides flag and he, and he called offsides. Like he had to call it himself. Yeah. Because no one else called it. Yeah. The, I don't know. I don't know. But as far as the, as far as the game itself, I thought that uh, the outlet through Mo Salah, when they were down to 10 was on all day long Yep, Spurs were pushing uh, and they were getting their fullbacks forward, Udogi and Pedro Porro. And there was a ton of space in behind them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Liverpool, especially down to 10, they're more than happy to just be like, all right, look, well, we're not even going to play in the midfield, whatever. And just, they love that long diagonal. They love it. And so they were just hitting that all day long. Uh, you know, and they found some joy. Like, I, there was a moment there that I thought they were even – like, when they scored and tied it up, I was like, these guys might go on. These guys might push on. That's how much better I thought Liverpool were. Um, I'm not saying Spurs were bad. Right. They right. they weren't at their best. They They, you know, and by the standard they've set this season, they were they were poor. Far better than they were last season. They would have been smashed last season. Smashed last mm-hmm. season, yep. But so credit credit Spurs for sure for for hanging in there and, and uh, they definitely poured on the pressure at the end as you would expect. Verse nine guys, yeah, it's difficult to play against lo- a, a block where they're literally not going to attack at all because they're down <laughs> they're down two guys. <laughs> Uh, you know, but still, like that's how you that honestly that last goal though is how you score in those situations. I mean, you send you it, you send it hard, you send it low, you you come into the outside. Yeah. But they I feel like them, I, oh, it's so unlucky. It's they yeah. just got so unlucky in multiple occasions here. To oh man, I feel so bad for them. Yeah, man. I don't. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm all the first to tell you that I do not like Liverpool. Even, no, I'm not even a, no. a little bit. I like. All. I dislike Spurs more though, so I feel bad for. Oh, Liverpool. I hate Spurs. So <laughs> I can't stand. Yeah, if Liverpool, if it was, if this was the other way around, and Spurs had gotten <laughs> oh, cheated oh, yeah. like this, oh, I'd be clapping. Yeah, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> I'd be if, fine with it. I'll say it. Shortest I'll segment ever. It. I'll be yeah. fine with it. Would have had a segment of like, you know, Spurs lost. Who won? All right, and segues are weird. Segways yeah. are weird. You know, Spur- <laughs> Spurs might have Spurs might have been a little bit unlucky, but they deserve it. Let's move on. <laughs> they deserve that crap. Let's move on. No, man, I definitely think uh, that uh, moving forward, Liverpool are uh, they're a worry. Yeah, they're I'm good. I'm worried about them. 
their good yeah, seat, their good side. And uh, they're going to – I definitely think they're – be, they'll be far better than they were last season. They'll challenge at the top. I think my prediction of third, um, I'll, I'll be happy if they get third. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> they might get third. No, I'm saying I'll be happy if that's all they get is what I'm saying. Oh, well, because I think I, I think they have the potential to be better, uh, you know, to be even better than that. But um, Well, I, I, I'll put this out there. The return fixture at Anfield – they might murder Spurs, man. Oh, it's they might murder them. Off. It was getting bad. It's going to be. They're going to destroy him when he goes in. <laughs> it's going to be. Yeah. And you want to talk know, about unfinished business? Issue the sword and shield right at the Oh, yeah. At the tunnel. Like, man, <laughs> and feel is just. You're going to get batteries thrown at you and everything. Oh, Bring the brass knuckles. So, yeah. yeah. Cool get some riot on. gear. Spurs yeah. are going to come out and warm up in riot gear. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like that for sure. Um, the good thing they don't have flares in England anymore, because that yeah, me, would be you wouldn't be able to see the game. You wouldn't be able to see the game. It's just the whole Spurs side of the field is just smoke, <laughs> <laughs> looking like the San Siro. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness gracious me! Yeah, well, uh, yep, tough day, tough day for Liverpool and Liverpool fans. But uh, Spurs roll on, get the three points, still undefeated. You hate to see it, you really do.